Today, we're unmasking a villain you might not have heard of they're tiny, yet formidable. They're the superbugs. Superbugs might sound like something from a comic book, but they're very real, and they're a growing threat to global health. So, what are they? In simple terms, superbugs are strains of bacteria that have become resistant to multiple antibiotics. They're like the supervillains of the microbial world. But how did these superbugs come about? Well, to answer that, let's turn the clock back to 1967. This was the year when a strain of the common bacterium, Staphylococcus aureus, was found to be resistant to the antibiotic methicillin. Named MRSA, or methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, this was the first superbug to make headlines. The advent of MRSA shocked the medical world and marked the beginning of a new, unexpected battle. Imagine for a moment being a doctor in the late 1960s. You're used to antibiotics working like magic, and then suddenly, there's a bacterial strain that's just laughing in the face of the best antibiotics available. It must have been a chilling realization. But what's the threat? Why should we worry about superbugs? Superbugs are a threat because they're tough to kill. They can withstand the antibiotics that we commonly use to fight bacterial infections. When antibiotics fail, infections persist, risking the health and even the lives of patients. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 2.8 million antibiotic-resistant infections occur in the U.S. each year, leading to over 35,000 deaths. And it's not just a problem in the United States. Superbugs are a global issue. The World Health Organization considers antibiotic resistance, the driving force behind superbugs, as one of the biggest threats to global health, food security, and development today. Worse still, superbugs are not confined to hospitals or healthcare settings. They can be found anywhere, in our homes, schools, and public spaces, and can spread between people and animals. The food we eat can also be a source of superbugs if the antibiotics are overused in agriculture. We've been talking a lot about the threats. Now let's talk solutions. There are ways to slow the emergence of superbugs. Good hygiene, vaccination, safe food handling, and responsible antibiotic use are all parts of the puzzle. We need to remember that antibiotics are a precious resource, and every time we use them inappropriately, we risk giving rise to more superbugs. We also need to support the scientists and healthcare providers working tirelessly to find new ways to fight superbugs. This includes research into new antibiotics, as well as alternative treatments like phage therapy and using the body's own immune system more effectively. The story of superbugs is a chilling reminder of the ever-evolving challenge we face in the field of healthcare. It's a story of adaptation, survival, and the unintended consequences of our actions. We hope this video helped you understand more about superbugs and why they're a threat. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. Let's spread awareness about superbugs and how we can fight them together. Thank you for watching.